my intention to show you utmost respect and act according to your directives. But I will do myself grave injustice if in rendering the apology I do not point out certain matters that I also feel are important for you to advert your mind to. Mr. Speaker, in the first place, you set up a committee, PES 1 to order 191. First legal question is, does that committee have the power to come to conclusions relating to matters of contempt? Does it have the power? You set it up to find facts and report the facts to you. Does it have the power to come to conclusions on matters of contempt which are clearly spelled out in Order 30, 31, and 32? Facts, not to conclude on contempt, because the issues of contempt are clearly defined in the standing orders. And so that is the first thing that I just wanted to advert your mind to, whether the committee can make findings and come to a conclusion that the provisions of contempt have been violated. That's the first question. Mr. Speaker, the second question is, they use criminal standards determining the burden of proof. Mr. Speaker, if you conclude that you want to use the criminal standards, then you might as well have, during the proceedings, used the criminal process. What is the criminal process? If you call a witness in any criminal trial, he should also cross-examine the other side so that you can come to the conclusion that will enable you to exert criminal sanctions. You didn't do that. Mr. Speaker, if you say I should apologize, I apologize.